And welcome back to part 9 of Bioshock Infinite! If you remember last time, uh, we traveled through space and time, and this time we're gonna go find some guns. And hopefully not travel through space and time anymore. We'll have time for work. But anyway, for, back to fights and Bronco. <laughs> At this point, everyone's kind of pissed off, so... Big surprise. We gotta fight everybody. But at this point, uh... It's actually not too tough. You're still The only thing is, except for these mortars that are showing up, that's one little thing, but fuck it. Soldiers are nothing at this point. See, every time I hear Bucking Bronco, I'm reminded of the Denver Broncos, because my dad's from Colorado and he's still a fan of them. But I don't care about sports, so I realize I still have nothing to contribute to the conversation. Well, you have one word to contribute to the conversation. Bronco! <laughs> so do you like their defense this year, son? Bronco! Well, good. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I dance, I dance around in an object. Thank you for Elizabeth, salts. just pass it to me. You don't need to. God damn it. Did you miss the last video when she actually did pass it to me? I've never seen her do that before. Yeah, yes, I did, and I was surprised. We, I thought we were past that. I was surprised too. I looked at like, what is she doing? <laughs> I, I just want a moment where, where she's like all the way across the room or something as she slowly walks over to you and puts it in your hand, walks all the way back. <laughs> no, you just hear, Bucko, catch, catch, catch! And you hear this thing flying towards you, it's making like a breaking the sound barrier sound. I'm like, <laughs> Oh, thanks for the salt! <laughs> See, like, like that, exactly. <laughs> I mean, it, it, that just phased through the stairs. I'm gonna have to tell you, rifles are pretty heavy. I don't know how she could have done that with one arm. And have it curve perfectly. She's got guns. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> <laughs> She's got guns! <laughs> She's got quite the arm! <laughs> so, there's a point where I kind of forgot to go back here. Uh, I could have done it earlier. There's actually a locked door with a bunch of material behind it, but... Go figure. Oopsie doopsie poopsie me. I don't have enough lockpicks to open it, but let's find out the hard way. Olivia, uh, Olivia, I mean Elizabeth, I'm sorry. I just, I, <laughs> Wee! I've kind of gotten used to her being part of the group. <laughs> Never mind. My joke was just going to say throw something, but like, uh, uh, Olivia can do it too. <laughs> she can throw things. All the way from Brandon. <laughs> Far as fuck away from every single one of us. I guess we're not going through there. I guess we gotta go get some... I forgot, we need to go get some guns from... Uh, Mr. Ch Mrs. Or Chew here. His name's not Mr. Chew, but uh, everyone in Sleeping Dog's name is Mr. Chew, so we'll go with it. <laughs> it curves all the way from Canada to California. You just get thrown something, it's just like a toque or something. Oh, that's just so Canadian. <laughs> just like her. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> I'm not laughing. <laughs> I'm helping. Um, <laughs> nothing really changed much about this world overall, except for the fact that um, I'm not forgetting his name, but Chin Lin uh, is out of jail and apparently back to making guns. And no one suspects a thing. Do you hear anything? No. No machines. I hear you, Elizabeth. <laughs> no surrender. Maybe he's upstairs. <laughs> She points the gun at you for some reason. No surrender. <laughs> Do you know what you're doing now? I knew now. <laughs> Bang! Oh, my arm! <laughs> Pay back the debt. And look at how the uh, memorial changed. It's a figure of Comstock now. Now they're worshiping Comstock in this world. Oh my god, they added a whole other candle. <laughs> That's the thing that freaks you out. Hmm, seems everything's up to board. <gasps> Five candles! And look, he's busy at work on his machinery. Chen Lin? Uh, Excuse me, Chen Lin? He's like, you go, Floor, you go. You speak up! Speak up! <laughs> Can't hear you over all these machines! Very loud! I'm it's a movie! Five please. words! Uh, let me see your tootsie roll. Um, uh, uh, Daisy stir the pot us. and bring the pizza. We need to talk to you about getting some Hand through your body. Very dangerous! No place for stupid people! Petting large jaguar, then slapping it. <laughs> Writing a letter to yourself, dear jaguar. 
<laughs> even no, even if the machines were there, I don't think that's how you make guns. <laughs> I think he's just exercising. I think he just wants you to leave. Look, I'm working! Ah. I make my own guns, eh? <laughs> oh, hi, lady. It's Mrs. Lynn. She's white now. Me, I'm looking for Mrs. Lynn. I'm Mrs. Lynn? No, I, I mean a little Chinese lady. She was... He keeps on just playing charades and he won't tell me what the actual clue is. I mean, <laughs> he just moves his arm. <laughs> well, your husband is a bit out of sorts. So this, it just kind of screws up. We, we tore through space and time, which is horrible enough. But the only thing that changed is that they took his tools. <laughs> really? I just like how Booker's like, oh, that guy's pretty weird. And then his fucking hand is glowing and shit. <laughs> if you don't tell me where the tools are. God, there's so many weird people here. Crows fly around your hand. We're not getting any guns if Chen Lin doesn't have his tools. Let's head to Shantytown. Elizabeth playfully rolls down the stairs. <laughs> Slowly, like a slinky. <laughs> <laughs> Just like ragdoll. <laughs> Made down the stairs faster than you, Booker. No, you didn't. <laughs> did you notice? I bent time in my own head. Yes, I did. Seems to be in style. Blay knows her in style, did you know? Booker quickly punches himself. <laughs> now I fit in. Don't I look cool, Elizabeth? I just left some crows behind for him. <laughs> yeah, she's hungry. Yeah, you can usually tell when I have it's been a while since I played because I just mash a button. <laughs> I wasn't born dead. I hear what people are saying. I like I'm hearing all this talking during this fight. You guys need to work. Don't die. Please don't. Oh, shit. <laughs> Holy <laughs> arrows fast. <laughs> Crows will do their work. See? <laughs> and I think I blew them into chunks. <laughs> We've heard this discussion before. Murder, 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 morality. <laughs> Schoolhouse rock. Um... <laughs> All right, well, now that we've, uh, cl oh, we got one more guy I'm spinning in a circle, um, <laughs> you look like he's just grinding his back against the post, going like, oh, this is why bears do it. <laughs> so anyway, that door that was blocked off before is the direction we need to be going, because, uh, all the machinery for Chinlin's guns were taken away to the police station, which is closer to Shanytown. We've seen all the nice areas. See, I'm suspicious now with the music still playing, like, there's a bad guy, bad guy over here. <laughs> I hate that because he's always, like, it's always just one guy and he's just hiding behind something or you just can't even see him. So I just say forget it. <laughs> <laughs> or I just start walking around, but the music's just so off-fitting by that point. I like how Elizabeth is still playing around with her, dun-dun, dodging. <laughs> they look at her, just like, oh my god. I tried to, I tried to get her some bucking Bronco to wake her up. <laughs> Elizabeth, they're vending machines. <laughs> you want some value? I don't want value! <laughs> Value's a good thing, Elizabeth. These coins were going through the ground, but I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Obviously, at this point, nothing worth buying. I'm gonna save my money, probably some more aids or things like that. But, uh, I can upgrade my sniper rifle, fuck it. I don't even have one, fuck it. So this is- so it's blocked. This is a good way to transition a loading screen. Behind a lever. You wanna ask me, ask me. About what? W what? <laughs> We're being shot at, but... But yeah, you got a weird finger. So is your name really Elizabeth? What for? Or is it no finger Charlie, because look at that hand. I hit her all the yeah, tremors. your deformity is hideous as my hand rumbles with tremors. Alright, anyway, freaky. <laughs> Elizabeth. On it. They didn't notice that. <laughs> well, that's wacky. We just had a bunch of things pop up. Let's get a gun automaton. 
I don't know why all the soldiers are over here. I think it's just because they're trying to guard the Vox okay. Populi from getting to the PlayStation. Thanks. That is so amazingly <laughs> strong. I didn't realize how strong <laughs> it was. He says dodging a rocket. Oh, gee, thanks. Oh, my God. <laughs> Who's the idiot that was like rocket launchers? Well, I got a bat. Well, I guess you can help. <laughs> <laughs> I guess they won't see that coming. If anyone's going to die, might as well be the obvious one. <laughs> Come on, I deserve a raise. <laughs> okay. Gets carpet bombed. Well, I got what I asked for. Well, here's a bad. Go raise some hell. <laughs> ah, I hate you. <laughs> Why did I hire you? <laughs> Nissan Ultron. <laughs> Why can't you be like that guy? Dead. <laughs> dead guy gave it his all. That's why we're giving him a raise and a promotion. He even did like a cool little side flip thing. I wish I could do a side flip thing. <laughs> Mr. Dead Guy is so cool. <laughs> and that's how that works. Um. <laughs> so back to this office. We're going to be going back here later. Basically back the way we came in a minute. Because it looks like there is a power hidden behind the cage here. Oh, well, we'll go back to it in a bit. I call it... Basically, the jet pistol vigor. <laughs> and another way to transition loading screens, elevators! Ow, my hand. It <laughs> doesn't even fucking work, whatever. <laughs> I was gonna say, it doesn't even hurt anymore. I'm used to it. I don't even care. <laughs> you can't even feel his hand at all. <laughs> Look or catch, just slaps his little limp hand, damn it. I haven't opened my palm. In days. <laughs> but who needs to? I'll just use my one hand of power. <laughs> I'll just start punching things forever, I suppose. You must think me some sort of... freak. Yeah, four fingers, you are a freak. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like how you notice on Elizabeth's, uh... Outfit gets progressively more torn out and beaten up throughout this uh, episode. Now she's nearly missing a sleeve. I like that there just happens to be a sad violinist around. <laughs> On the elevator looking at them. <laughs> just don't shoot me. It's my job. Because you're four-handed, four-fingered fucker. Four-handed? Yeah, you four flushing. They want a fire and this thing in my hand. So this is actually kind of relatable because of the financial gap and people experiencing that bullshit. These people are tired of it. <laughs> Why hast thou forsaken us? Elizabeth, Elizabeth. Don't skip. <laughs> I love what god. he's saying. <laughs> he's... Oh my god, a wall! <sighs> Oh boy, my new house! That's a bed already! <laughs> I'm starving too, let's go get lunch! <laughs> Pulls out a lunch bowl. <laughs> Kicks that kid in the stomach. I want baby back ribs! <laughs> people are like this because of Fink? I don't see a daughter here, but... You know, if that boy falls off the roof, he's gonna land in the fire. <laughs> <laughs> and he, did, he didn't flinch, he just continues to warm his hands. That's even better now. <laughs> We burn our children for warmth. What does the sign say? <laughs> Maybe I lick it. I nope, still blood. It, it doesn't taste like ketchup. See what's in that bar. What do you think? <laughs> Can't tell if she's 80s dancing or something. <laughs> this area we want to explore. There's a number of things you can pick up here. Like, ooh, that's a boost. <laughs> oh yeah. But I don't think he's gonna let me get it. I remember this. Oh, okay, I fine. I backed up. I won't get it. I didn't do anything. What are you? Doing? <laughs> but you can all die, whatever, including citizens. Oh, you're still alive, whatever. <laughs> First time playing through, I was just walking through the town, so I just kind of went past. I didn't even listen to what he was saying. So I was just like, "Oh, do look at cool the thing I can use," and he's like, "Thief!" And I'm like, "What? Bang! Oh, I'm the thief." That's all this game is. <laughs> but I immediately oh, killed man. him as soon as he talked back to me. I was like, wait, what? Die! Oh. Oh, wait, I'm the bad guy. 
<laughs> oh yeah, fall shepherd shit. <laughs> that wasn't a self-fulfilling prophecy. <laughs> they nailed it. I like exploring this area just because it's a lot of things to look at, like kids burning for warmth. I have to add more kids to keep the fire up. It's summer, you shouldn't be cold. He's hungry, so I'll, I'll summon some food sacks to appease the appetite. Otherwise, I have to fight all of them, which is not hard, but... Some grayscale food. Here's some gray potatoes. Okay, now I despawn it. <laughs> Wait, someone's attacking me. Music is cueing that. It's Elizabeth! <laughs> Start slapping me in the face. Ow, ow! <laughs> oh no, it's just this guy. I thought it was gonna be one of the flying, like, just one of the flyers. It's just fluttering around. That giant bird monster just out of nowhere. Hey! <laughs> you guys really don't stand a <laughs> chance in hell. Why would you do that? <laughs> He has a pistol, and you have a fucking rifle. He's like, yes, I, sh I will win this fight, clearly. Carl Wilson, no. Elizabeth didn't like that, but neither did the frame rate, apparently. Elizabeth didn't even notice. Let's check out this bar called the Graveyard Shift. I'm sure it's fine. Deep at best, son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> These guys seem happy. Oh, where's he going? <laughs> nope, he's, not. he's fine, he's fine. Oh, Jesus, Elizabeth. <laughs> oh, jeez, I have to go to the bathroom. I'm a little hesitant to start doing anything that'll get me in trouble. Huh. I think I must have missed this part when I played it, because I don't I don't recognize it. This is a pretty cool part. I like this song, too. I was trying to see if this is a recognizable song. It is, actually. I'm trying to remember what song this is. You turn around, the bar's on fire. I'm trying to remember the song. <laughs> Are the vending machines dancing too slowly? Yeah. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, something. <laughs> oh, Booker, yeah. Booker, calm down. Booker. It's, that's Tainted Love. That's right. <laughs> oh, it was right on the tip of my brain. I know. God. I was sitting there going, like, what song is it? Abraham Lincoln, Ten of the Bar. <laughs> I could go back there for some beer or a salt. <laughs> but oh my god, money! People are people are poor, but they leave piles of money on the ground. That makes sense. We could pick that up, but I'm too tired from work. And they don't like that poster a lot. So I like going down here for the simple sakes of there being a meaningless event. There's a kid down here, and he seems sad. Hey, kid, I want your hat. She seems sad, too. <laughs> Can I adopt him? Can I keep him? I'll feed him. And... <laughs> Can I have the hat? Wish I knew how to play. Beats up the kid. I have a hat. Elizabeth. So, wants me to play the guitar a bit. Let's pull a uh, Troy Baker and play the guitar. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> <laughs> Give it that warning, give it! I start playing a song about how a woman's voice gets stolen and I die. Jing, 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 jing. Get him now! A bunch of monkeys pour out and start attacking. <laughs> <laughs> I know why she's down there. The poison apple. Well, uh, Elizabeth, you sang the entirely wrong song, but we're just gonna go with it. I that's probably one of the best songs off of the soundtrack. There's a yeah. full version of it too. When you force deep underground, well. Plus, you get another thing from Daisy Fitzroy. And down at the bottom, Elizabeth is kind of getting a, a starting to. Then feel the opinions of Daisy because Daisy's like, yeah, people are getting fucked over and she's finally like, yeah, shit, you're right. Now she got herself a mouth big enough for all the fires in Columbia. You have a mouth big enough for the fire? That's how you stuff it out. <laughs> oh, you can't take the guitar and use it as a weapon? Just to calm people down. 
<laughs> Their loved ones in the valley, don't kill me. <laughs> Bro, how'd she do that? <laughs> she went outside and closed the door and then came back in. I'm not gonna pick up that stuff that could be important, like log picks. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is basically designed around Finkton and stuff. Of course, everything in this world sort of is, but it's really evident around here. It's classic 1930s shantytown. And probably current era <laughs> shantytown. You know, Elizabeth, I think it's time for a song. <laughs> I'm cool with it. <laughs> there are loved ones in the valley. <laughs> <laughs> bye and bye. <laughs> See, it's illegal to grow food. Stop it. <laughs> Growing God. food is sympathizing with the Vox. How dare you need to eat? <laughs> We're gonna chain this guy up for growing food. <laughs> well, damn it, I guess we can't reach to this cage. Haha, <laughs> that's funny. Eat. <laughs> Bill, shut up. Just just shut the fuck. We, we've been stuck here for a week, and you just keep talking and talking and talking! My boots were made for walking. Damn it! And that's... <laughs> I'm not talking, I'm singing. But instead, they stepped on our food. Isn't that right, Bill? <laughs> so it looks like I found a sheltered hat. So, that's kind of pointless, especially compared to a tornado hat. Tornado hat's been the most useful hat. Oh good, we get to hear another person talking about how awful I am. We're gonna have to get through an army to get those tools. This part can be a little tough for people that have never played it before. Not necessarily Ugh. for the soldiers. Yeah, I remember this bit. It's not exactly hard, but it's just like, good god. You gotta, you gotta kinda know what you're doing, otherwise this tip part takes a long time. Aw, oh, come on. Storm, do your job. There we go. <laughs> I just immediately went for the Bronco, I didn't even bother. I just Pikachu'd out that. <laughs> anyway, we have to go with some rail ride in here. I always still find it funny when people die and melt, they produce large metal boxes. <laughs> Physics. Well, you mean you don't? So the tower that actually contains the police station also contains two giant rocket launchers. Uh, you can see them up there, they look like giant Gatling guns. I have to destroy both of them before I enter or my ass gets blown up, so... Mosquitoes start it up, just, just burn them a little bit since they don't seem to be focusing on anything. Did you now? Nice. <laughs> Go through boxes, whatever. Elizabeth, use the right arm if there's something in front of you. Jesus. She's just continuing playing the guitar back there. I want to learn <laughs> how to play, Booker. <laughs> Teach me Stairway to Heaven, Booker. <laughs> what the hell is Stairway to Heaven? <laughs> I heard it in another dimension. <laughs> it's no <an old> blue standard. <laughs> All right, time to be invulnerable on these rails. No one can hit me. Especially at this speed. <laughs> <laughs> no one can I fuck. <laughs> <laughs> this is a good area to start with because you get a rocket automaton. And I leap down like a jungle cat uh, to summon <laughs> this rocket automaton. <laughs> Elizabeth. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Gunfire right there! She just doesn't even- Bullets hurt, Booker! Doesn't even care! Booker, what does blood taste like? I've already forgotten. I don't know. I just... <laughs> this looks like a uh, trending ground for soldiers, because they have all these old- These are what Vox look like! Kill them, huh? <laughs> Now, the automaton uh, with the rock one I summon doesn't last very long. So, I need a better alternative to destroying it. To really do it quickly, you kind of have to do it yourself. Good way to do it is to get behind in this area because there's a weapon we can use that can do it a little bit better. The bear trap. This part's actually a little bit sad. Well, 
Fitzroy. Remember this dude? You you got a little cunning in you, if nothing else. He's the dude that's just like, I like to mount stuff, her. The idea was to, to bleed one of your couriers till he gave you up. He, he, he caught in one with a bear trap, and he accidentally caught a kid in a bear trap. Now I got this tiny engine boy. He's made of a 96 Chevy. Tried to take his leg off. I don't know why. It just I didn't like one of his legs. I, I tried to feed him the rest of my sandwich, but it's mine. He didn't like the fact that I made it out of his leg. I mean, what's wrong with that? <laughs> I lo look, he hopped all the way around and fell. And <laughs> I told him, don't let things like that bother you. Just put one foot in front of the... Oh, sorry. <laughs> I put one of the claw things on his leg and he still wasn't happy. I tried to high five him, but I forgot I was holding the bear trap. <laughs> <laughs> so it's important here because you get an RPG. That's a very useful bit right here. These rockets are a pain in the ass. And plus there's guys. And guys suck. What I spent the most time doing was just riding the rails and killing everything that was there. It takes forever to do it that way, though. <laughs> yeah, for, it was first playthrough, so I didn't really know. I was just zipping on by, and I'm like, hey, isn't it weird that those turrets have health? Oh. I was not looking forward to this part, because I'm like, if I play it the same as I did last time, this is going to take forever. But I was like, yay, RPGs! And I don't think I need the hand cannon. I'll probably run into another one later. As nice as the hand cannon is, the Arkabuga is a little bit better. Okay, Elizabeth, when I run out of ammo, I'm gonna throw you next. <laughs> I'm happy! I'm happy! Those acquire you, I'm hoping! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, one's down. I only took a couple RPG shots, so. And this one's a little too far away to get a good shot on me. So just whack on it now. Okay, now we're done. RPG solves the problems. And I want my hand cane and bag. <laughs> I punch the air in anger. Punch it. <laughs> this game will call it a punch, and the actual punch out game will call it a bop, whatever. <laughs> you should bop him. <laughs> punch him with the feet. <laughs> and uh oh, here comes the Patriot. He's proud about his country, kill him. I was about to say, it just fell into nothing. The Patriots don't really make sense in the game aspect of it, because they're supposed to be like in museums and amusement parks. This was just at a police station. You know, for the police museum. <laughs> Ow. I punched it with a gun! How dare you didn't buy anything for my brothers. Thanks. I just picked one up, but okay. <laughs> you need it! Just start shoving down my throat. <laughs> <laughs> I think I had it pretty rough there. Just die. Jeez. Oh, I broke my pen. <laughs> now nah, the rocket automaton's back, but screw it. Oh, that. Go ahead. She didn't like that. So like she got goosed. I think she just. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think I know why she freaked out. <laughs> I didn't actually kill him, he just wanted to have some fun in the rail. <laughs> Flopping in the sunlight, having a wonderful time. <laughs> <laughs> that man looks happy, Booker. <laughs> I wish I was that happy. He has a mask on, you can't tell. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we gotta submit to a search, fine. All right, complete. This area, you want to take time to look around because uh, you'll see in a minute why it's worth it. There's a lot of stuff you can get in here. Not in here necessarily, but... What? Fitzroy spotted? Tell me the news, Nickelodeon! Fitzroy spotted! Uh, racist motherfuckers! <laughs> <laughs> oh, we love 
Zombie Racers 2, Daisy. Haha, <laughs> we like race cars. He falls off a cliff. <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> the narrator. <laughs> what am I to do? Oh god, ah! <laughs> well, I guess I'm having a little fall. <laughs> guess it's time for the fall season, huh? Do so, it how did he not see Elizabeth? <laughs> Nobody sees Elizabeth but you. I need to stop asking that. <laughs> There's a lot of dudes around here, but nothing. To That'll do. That'll do, pig. All right. Cover here's pretty nice. So it's just a big front-facing area with a lot of guns. Look at that bullshit protecting our race. It's funny, like, that's not even pretending to be... Like, oh yeah, we're for everyone. This is just like, fuck you, anyone who's not white. <laughs> Someone's shooting me up here? Oh, hi. <laughs> that's just how easy it is at this point where just soldiers are. I'm just like, am I being attacked? So I just love that in games where you're just like super strong and then you, and you're getting shot and you're looking around and, and the guy is trying everything he can to murder you and you just do like two shots and they're done. Especially when they're getting really excited. <laughs> How did that patron open that door? <laughs> Surprise, <laughs> motherfucker! <laughs> I'm here for my passport! <laughs> Allison! <laughs> I wish you said this, I said, my aim is true as long as- ah! <laughs> Ow. My aim is true, and this year's model are the best Elvis cut. Uh, <laughs> tumble down the stairs, boom, boom. I was hoping for stair physics where he just kept tumbling. And still talking. <laughs> where it's sinking down to the neck. With man falling downstairs, you think a patriotism. <laughs> I love this. You can summon a fireplace that contains a giant gun. But I don't need it. But it's the only way to get that gun is summoning the fireplace, which is like a machine gun. So going down is the way we want to go. But upstairs there's a room that contains a lock that requires a lot of lockpicks to go into, but it's totally worth going into. And you'll see here, it's this room over here. See all that shit in there? I can't get in there because I need three more picks. Now I thought I was like, oh, son of a bitch, there's so much good stuff in there. This is where looking around really helps. Take your time to explore every nook and cranny before you leave something like that behind. <laughs> See, one always get a second chance to get it. Yeah, there are lockpicks everywhere. They're usually hidden, but I mean, they're easy enough to find if you just search around a little bit. Someone had a rotten pair in the desk? Ew. This office smells terrible! Oh, it looks like that one guy died. An anime <laughs> Fitzroy. <laughs> well, god damn it. <laughs> Those were my last words. We've just confirmed that Daisy Fitzroy is indeed Ugu. <laughs> oh, look, a recording. We sent her to the lab to confirm if she's the Ugu we asked. They pay me. So that's what was in here the whole time. See, I didn't know about the bar, so I, I spent the whole rest of the game just going, what the fuck is in there? <laughs> I like how this cop's like, I have to pretend to be racist because of the job, but I don't hate him. That's if he forgot to get the key in the bar. But I remembered, because it's a good area to go to. Meanwhile, I need to take a shower. Get out, Elizabeth. <laughs> Do you need a towel, Booker? Okay, puts herself in one of the drawers. <laughs> Just somehow gets in a small drawer and closes it completely. Interesting. <laughs> Just turned on a sink and she's like, interesting. Wow. Warm water. <laughs> I've never felt warm water before. See, this helps. She actually found a lockpick. Ah, oh, empty bag, liar. Where is it? Oh, she saw it around a corner somehow. She just... It was just behind the wall. I put it... She just goes up and you just... Hint, I put it there. 
<laughs> I feel really sorry for you. <laughs> I'm gonna run ahead of you now. Wee, I'm open. <laughs> Are you whispering so loudly? <laughs> so you can hear me. What? What? <laughs> Interrogation room. More Fitzroy shit. Some fears at night, Lady Comstock and a prophet. This area good is going to too because look at all those lockpicks. Now we have five. Da 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 da. Worst, I seen she ain't left for morning prayer. So I crept upstairs to check in on her. And like a fool, I lingered. Scullery maid was what they called me when I walked into Comstock House. Murderer was what they shouted when I ran out. So that basically just tells you that Daisy had nothing to do with her murder. <laughs> Ready. I wonder if that Booker guy I pushed out the blimp died. In the future. Winter Shield. More Skyline bullshit. I'll tell you what the fuck. I need health. Perfect. There's a ton of that shit around here. You're pretty much good for the rest of the game. <laughs> oh no, no, I'm not. I'll keep on fighting him until I'm invincible. This game, at this point in the game, you are pretty damn tough. See, this... Well, this doesn't make sense. How do they get all this equipment down here? Now we just have to get them back to the box. We, somehow they got them through the skyline. Down to Southern Flight Stairs. I'm just gonna assume a whole bunch of shipment boxes, and then they brought the boxes down here, and then they built it. Why did they build Done. it? I don't know. Well, let's put it back together, boss. Why? We'll have to find a Nickelodeon for that. Help us. <laughs> Daisy can make a change, can't she? Sorry, I need to watch again. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Sure. <laughs> Just a bunch of guys shrugging in unison. <laughs> that, that's the directions. Bum ba dum ba dum. Shrugging at the army. <laughs> I got stuck in the machine for a little while. It hurt. <laughs> he shrugs with no hands. <laughs> She had, the, that young lady has some RPG ammo on her, weird. And she's pouring cockroaches out and shotgun shells. Look at these cheap ass animations of cockroaches. Ugh, still creepy. You miss the Beatles in Dark Souls, they're even worse. Yeah. Ugh. I fuck I just, just I just hate roaches specifically. Well, we Any other bug is cool with me. Roaches are the weirdest thing. Everyone hates them, but they can't hurt anybody. You haven't seen the big ones that can bite. I've never been bitten by a big one. Well, there's a nice place called the Dominican Republic trap. <laughs> Look, it should be a good idea that the tools are in another dimension through the dimension that we already traveled through. I think it's a good idea if we tear inside of a tear. No, I really want to walk around and look at bullshit. <laughs> Elizabeth, you're kind of in it. <laughs> do you want to go ahead and do it like I just did? <laughs> she, she just forgets. What? what? <laughs> My brain hurts, Booker. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that we just assumed that put the tools back. Just went back in time to the, when the narrator stuck in the machine. Okay, the boys, I'm ready. <laughs> Shut of this place. Now he's just standing in there. Well, this is awkward. <laughs> this is actually a pretty good done. Gun, like not done. Pretty good gun that they have there. And ammunition at this point in the game is everywhere for this gun. It's, a, it's basically a better version of the machine gun. I like how she's not even aware that the French Revolution was real. <laughs> well, she read everything through books. Have you read The Miserables, Booker? The less miserables? <laughs> They're less miserable than us! I thought it was gonna be a happy book, how wrong I was! <laughs> there was no THE in the entire book. Oh man, shit's going down outside. Guess we better go find out what that shit might be, and how down it's going. Oh look, another box of own. You ever see a force at the beginning of a fire? Flame, Sound like there's chanting outside. The That's not wacky. I think she's insane. <laughs> Did the fat bears and they love their honey. I like honey. 
there. <laughs> By the way, Fitzroy. No. <laughs> <laughs> Doc Lewis's ancestor. Doc <laughs> Louie. King is the one who's in charge of the box. Don't you know? <laughs> this is how I do thriller. <laughs> thriller day. Thriller dead. So I thought maybe since we're in a different area. No. Here's one of the plot holes of the time traveling thing. When you go through... Things you've removed from one world are still removed in the other world. Doesn't make that much sense, but whatever. I still killed that boy. <laughs> and I fed him my leg in this world. <laughs> he seemed hungry and, well, I had nothing else. This is the parallel dimension where I forgot to wear my socks. Except for my eight foot long Subway sandwich. But damn it, I had to eat it myself. It was a challenge, and I'm a challenger. Yeah, but damn it, it was a Kobe sock. <laughs> Too bad I had to feed it to the engine, kid. I didn't have to, I just forced it, but... Have you met my wife, the bear? <laughs> Daisy seems to like her, except for the time she shot her. Angel Boy, you're no fun. She still makes my coffees. I don't know what happened there. <laughs> I missed and he still was like, oh, I'm dead. So the Vox are like completely kicking ass in this particular timeline. I guess not timeline, dimension line. Those are all Vox dudes. And at this point, they're good guys. They're not going to shoot me. But we're fighting a revolution. And honestly, the weakest point in the game that I consider... Oh, hello. Oh, hello. <laughs> Ow, my face! <laughs> oh, God. Now, you don't have to spend time fighting everybody. The point of this is to get back to where we were before. All the way back. There's red everywhere. They've got red on you. And there goes my arm. <laughs> yeah, I, I kind of agree. This is one of the weaker points of the game. At this point, it, there's a couple points in this game, this part that I like, but a lot of it's just fighting and fighting and fighting. It's because we've been trying to do something through the last two tears that we could do as soon as we went through the tear, and it's like, it's around this point where it's becoming apparent it was pointless. Yeah. Well, I mean, I guess there's a slight point to that, but it's just kind of more of a fuck you to the player. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they do have physics when they roll down the stairs. Okay. <laughs> Some do. He's sitting there going, la 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 la, ow. <laughs> I, basically, I like this one more because it's basically a machine gun with three round bursts and a scope. It's just a good gun. And at this point in the game, ammunition, I don't know if it's plenty. Oh, more modern music in a world that's not modern? Remember, we heard this song actually through the tear earlier in the game. No, Elizabeth, you can't try the fucking thing. No. Don't. <laughs> Don't put yourself in the torture. I see a lockpick over there reaches into her pocket. <laughs> Grabs the girl singing, puts her in it. Stop it, this is cruel. Stop it. <laughs> Honestly, I think this song works almost better as, like, a slave song than it does a uh, normal rock song. <laughs> Sounds nice and emotional. You, you book a duet. The hero yeah, I am. Why is there a poster of me behind you? You make the best amps. <laughs> <laughs> I was kind of hoping his revolution poster would just be him confused, shrugging, like, what? <laughs> 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 and then just, just picture of Elizabeth with this huge blank grin behind him. <laughs> yeah, I'm cool now! <laughs> Damn it, I was gonna say that! <laughs> I know I'm Mars for Revolution, but check out this bloody nose! <laughs> I'm in! And cool! Let's go. I 
put up this huge anime poster of myself. <laughs> and you might be thinking, why? And I can't think that it's just beautiful. This is not my beautiful house. <laughs> this is not my beautiful wife. <laughs> Elizabeth has her own giant poster. Instead of it saying, like, change, it says we. I just imagine, like, all these people falling into the whims of Daisy Fitzroy just reading out lyrics on these things. How did I get here? <laughs> and as the days go by... <laughs> now, this is a story all about how... <laughs> the blood flies away. Wait, wait, I'm not done. Can I turn blue, 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 blue? <laughs> wait, wait! That's actually Daisy Fitzroy's true form, a blimp. <laughs> I just wanted to take a minute. <laughs> yeah, punk rock. <laughs> you guys want a mosh? <laughs> you guys are no fun. The boy they call Fitzroy and Booker DeWitt. <laughs> I am too. <laughs> <laughs> just one squeezes the rest of the air out of the air pipe. Boom! <laughs> Booger to what? <laughs> it's just like a biplane, but it's like really shitty. Boom! <laughs> Booger to what? It has his name spelled <laughs> wrong and Elizabeth's right. Pose next to this handyman. <laughs> <laughs> she just right in front of the photo. <laughs> Great. Now we gotta stand here for 45 minutes. Hey, he's holding something. Something depressing? Absolutely. Samuel, when the spells of anger come, I want you to play this recording and remember that I am the proudest woman in Colombia to have been. This is probably one of the saddest Vox phones in the game. They said your soul was choked by the fumes in that metal box, but this I do not believe. On that eternal shore, of both of us whole and smiling. Not someone with their own dreams and aspirations. Not someone trying to make you. Well, clearly the game knows what's more emotional here. <laughs> Do you understand what that that thing was all about? It was in the hands of one of those handymen, because the handymen basically forget their lives. So basically, his wife said. Here is a voxophone of me saying I love you. And you're like, that's so depressing. I thought uh, Booker was going to play another song. <laughs> it's, because he changed dimensions, now down there's a tuba. I can't play that. <laughs> <laughs> I can! <laughs> Burp! <laughs> Just plays the tuba mouth. <laughs> 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 the circle of life. <laughs> She's running around revolution. <laughs> she just has her face painted. <laughs> Where'd you get that paint? No, no, just, just don't even say one. It, it, it's red. <laughs> Found it on the floor next to a man. I just walked into a wall. <laughs> I have a blade nose too. I'm cool. You think the rest of them did that? That's kind of stupid, isn't it? I I swallowed some of the confetti. I feel pretty good. When it comes down to it, the only difference between Comstock and Fitzroy is how you spell the name. They I don't know how to spell it, but <laughs> I mean, Comstock has a silent F. <laughs> you think about that. I don't expect you will, but you think about that. <laughs> How'd you paint your face? I found this uh, engine kid leg. <laughs> Painting my face with it. <laughs> so a little boy's missing a leg, and then I saw this cowboy shrugging, and I was like, okay, I want my face red too. Well, no matter what, boy and leg are spelled the same. <laughs> the only difference between a boy and a leg is the way it's spelled. I feel like <laughs> you could use that for anything. <laughs> <laughs> good, good observation there, Booker. <laughs> Just standing there, eyes pointing in different directions. <laughs> <laughs> but very serious expression. Yep. <laughs> Almost <laughs> proud, but serious. <laughs> Folding his arms and nodding. Yeah. The only difference between a hand and a pancake is how you spell it. <laughs> You're right, Booker. <laughs> Even Elizabeth is like, no, no. 
<laughs> there are other <laughs> things, I'm sure. <laughs> I are you stupid? <laughs> I'm waiting for the loading screen to pass. <laughs> Why did you get your own poster and I didn't? <laughs> I guess we'll see you on the next part.